everyone, Zahava here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I make videos all about running a small business from home. So let's get right into today's video. So the strangest thing happened last night at like 8.30. It was Saturday and the doorbell rings and it's Canada Post making a delivery. Um, now, when I saw in the, because I get like cell phone updates, you know, when my packages are being delivered by Canada Post and they said, that my spoon flower order was on its way and it was going to be delivered today, Saturday or yesterday, Saturday. And I was a little skeptical about that because as far as I knew, Canada Post was not working, especially not doing meal deliveries on Saturdays. So I was like, okay, they must have made a mistake on the text or whatever. And I'll probably get the package Monday. But lo and behold, last night, 830 at night, Canada Post rings the doorbell and delivers two packages. And apparently, did you guys know this, if you're in Canada, that apparently since July of 2023, they're now working Saturdays. I don't know if that's for the holiday rush or like to avoid the backlogs that they experienced the past uh, few years, you know, since the pandemic. And I don't know what that's all about, but I know that I got mail last night. So that is what we are here to look at today. I got some fabric, but I didn't unbox it in front of you. I really wanted to see what the print turned out like and also because I actually paid for a different kind of fabric so normally with spoon flower because it costs about 25 26 dollars a yard I usually go for their um their petal signature cotton which is I which is like the cheapest I don't want to say the lowest grade <laughs> but it actually is the lowest grade <laughs> but I've been buying their petal signature cotton um and it occurred to me that I didn't love the way that it, it it sewed up into scrunchies because it was very rough. I didn't love the hand. It was, it's kind of hard to turn. It's not hard to sew, but it's like really rough on the ear. Like the needle really punches through that. So I don't love it. And it's hard to, um, to turn when I'm using the scrunchie tool. And I don't also love the way it scrunches. And I don't love the way that I imagine it would feel on the hair because the hand itself is not wow. So I went and, and, and got their cotton poplin, which I'm going to show you in just a sec, the prints that I picked up. But I went ahead and I got their cotton poplin just to see like what the difference would be. And I think the price per yard is something like two or three dollars more per yard. But I have to tell you, it's absolutely worth it. So I think that what I'm going to do from now on, especially if I'm going to be making scrunchies with the fabric, is I'm going to be opting for the pricier but better uh, fabric option with them, which is their cotton poplin. So I made a bit of a fabric haul from Spoonflower, and this is the first two of four orders that I made. So I'll definitely have more unboxings to show you in a little while. But for now, I wanted to show you some of the prints that I got. So you guys have, I'm, I'm going to just kind of change the order that they're, they're in. So you guys have seen this, by the way, it's not safe for work. So if you need to turn off your camera right now, then you better go ahead and do it now because you're not going to see pretty things. Okay. That's the disclaimer. I'll put something on the screen so you can read not safe for work. Um, so, or children, not safe for children either. Okay. So this is the fabric. You guys have seen this before when I made this into like heat packs and actually at market, the scrunchies I made out of this did really well as well, even in this scale, which is, um, let me see if I can put, I have my, my little tape measure here. So I just want to show you the scale. And it's, it's quite a large scale. So it, it is a big scale, but it did well even in scrunchy form. But the fabric is so much softer than the petal signature cotton that I've been buying previously. So I'm really happy I decided to go with this. Okay, so that's the one. Um, and I got two, two yards of that one. Then I found this. Um, and the reason that I bought this, if you guys will remember, that I'm going to be doing the show with uh, the Montreal Makers Market December 16th and 17th in the church basement in Rosemont uh, district. So, um, and they are not only doing like a whole adult theme Christmas party, but you know, adult content is absolutely encouraged. It's wanted there. So I'm going to have a whole range of products just for that show. And with that in mind, I bought 
this fabric, <laughs> which I thought was a riot. So yeah, I mean, if you guys are, are looking for that, the, um, the artist is Rob's, uh, Rob S K I art, Robski art, Robski art. That's probably how you pronounce it. <laughs> Robski art. Um, if you guys want to find this fabric, uh, it's on Spoonflower. I like to shop there only because I know it supports an independent artist. Every time an artist sells one of their fabrics, they get a commission on that. So I have no trouble at all showing you like who that is. So, um, this one here is, uh, if you guys are looking for this and you want to pick it up on Spoonflower, it's, uh, designed by Hole Punch Studio. Um, you know, I mean, I would say like, don't copy my products, but you know, you, you guys are going to, you guys are going to do what you want with it if, if you want to buy it. I, I would tell you to buy the products that I make with it because you love me and you want to support me. <laughs> I'm not going to wink again on camera because we all know that I can't. I'm like, I, I look like I have, like I'm having seizures or something. <laughs> so I'm not going to wink. But if you like me and you want to support me, I would love that. But if you want to pick up the fabric for yourself, you absolutely can. So this is Robski Art. He is a creator in the UK, and actually when I asked him to scale up or scale down, I think there was a question if I asked him to scale down a print for me, he responded and did it super quick. So that's another thing on Spoonflower. If the scales that are there are not working for you, you can always ask for the person to either upscale or downscale it, whatever you need if they respond to your emails, because there's been like a few Spoonflower artists that I've asked them to scale down their images and they haven't responded to my email. So I don't know what's going on, but maybe they don't want to be making money. I don't know. But in any case, oh yeah, I got this in pink as well. So I have a black colorway and a pink colorway or a gray colorway and a pink colorway of these toys. And I also got a smaller scale in this one so that I can do scrunchies out of this one. And then I can do like, um, I was going to say like either sex toy pa packs or pouches, pouches, or just little makeup pouches or things like that out of this one. I don't know about heat packs. I think pouches would probably be like more contrite, you know? <laughs> so, so yeah, so I'm going to do scrunchies out of this. And again, the cotton poplin definitely going to be my go-to from now on. I did order some of the petal signature cotton for the future orders that are coming because I was kind of on a budget. And But if I'm going to be thinking about making scrunchies, I'm definitely going to be ordering the cotton poplin from now on. Okay, so now that we've decided that, um, in all those three prints, including this one, I only got one yard. So I'll have to see because it's going to be like for a very niche show. And I doubt very much if people are going to buy it online. So if that's something that you do want to buy online, you want me to put that up on my website, just let me know in the comments and I will absolutely go ahead and do that for you. Okay. So um, if you guys were here before, you'll remember that I had these little pouches that we made together online that had these like sushi pugs on them like this in this like small millimeter kind of print. Um, and this is by Hugh Bucket, okay, on Spoonflower, if you guys want to find and support this. Again, everybody on Spoonflower is independent artists. So I got two of his, uh, or their, I don't know if it's a woman or a man, or, but I got two of their prints, okay? The, the second one that I got, you guys have seen it in the larger print because I remember showing you that I did some sushi cats in like a heat pack a while back. And, um, it's really large scale, which is fine for heat pack, but not great for when you're trying to do scrunchies. So, or wristlets even. So I decided to go for like a smaller print. And these are the sushi Persian cats that I got because these were the only two prints that this artist offered in a smaller scale. And again, um, as I just mentioned, when I contacted them to try and get some of their other prints, cause they've got a whole bunch, they've got like corgis and pandas and like, it's a really, really, if you're looking for like this type of, of deal, th that person has a lot of them, but they're not answering their emails. So like, I can't get them to downscale any of the stuff or I would have bought a yard of each of it. And that would have been more commission for that person. So they're missing out because they didn't answer their emails. So Annoying for me, but even more annoying for them because they're missing out on commission. Okay, so I got 
two more yards of this fabric, which I made scrunchies out of, and I will let you know how those scrunchies sell or will have sold by the time you guys see this video. Um, that market will be long over with, but um, I got two more of this fabric. I just, I really like the, the cotton poplin. Like this is what I really should have been buying um, from the get-go. So I got more of this because it's a print that sells out all the time, every time. Two yards of that because I needed it. Okay, so here is the piece de resistance. <laughs> this is one that when I had my old fabric business, I I did so well with this one. Like honestly, I made little zipper pouches out of it, and they sold out like no no trouble. So I decided I was going to um, reinvest in this one. This one I think also would make really good scrunchies, but. Um, so are you ready? Are you ready for this? <laughs> okay. It's creepy doll heads, people. It's creepy doll heads. And I love this print. And this is by a designer called Krust? Prust? Prust? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but if you guys want to pick up this creepy doll heads pattern, um, go ahead and do that. Again, it supports an independent artist. I'm supporting the independent artist. And, you know, since it's like printed on the fabric, which one it is, um, I like, I, like I said, I don't mind, you know, I want to, I'm not sponsored or anything by Spoonflower or these artists, but if I can, even to my small group of followers, even if I can, you know, share that with you where I got it, if you like it and you want to pick it up, um, you can get it there just look for the artist and that. So that's about it for this fabric haul. I'm super happy about that. And soon we're going to get into production. Not today because I have a lot going on today. Today's Sunday and I actually have a massage scheduled for later, which I really, really need to go to because like the carpal tunnel issues that I'm having in, uh, in my arm are pretty serious. And I haven't been to see Sandra in quite a long time. I think the last time I had an appointment was before I went to the DR in September and I ended up having to cancel the appointment for like financial reasons. Cause like I actually couldn't afford to pay her. So I really can't afford to miss this opportunity to go. So now it's like eight, uh, eight 30, Sunday morning, the 15th of October. So I'm going to go do that later today. I have an appointment actually at uh, 1230. So I'm going to go do that today. And that's pretty much the only thing that's on the roster. So maybe I'll come back and sew and do some work, or maybe I'll wait until Tuesday. Tomorrow I got to bring my car in to change the winter tires. It has been impossible to get an appointment so I've got to get the car, uh, the tires, the winter tires into the car today. Eric's going to drop me at the dealer. To, I'm going to bring the car to the dealer tomorrow. Eric's going to pick me up and either bring me back home or maybe I'll go to the factory because um, we're downsizing there for the leather stripper uh, factory because, you know, the rent is high and sales are kind of low. And, you know, even though my dad's got some like big orders for manufacturing and stuff, the... Um, there, there was a lot of wasted resource in terms of like surface area. There were a lot of machines, a lot of things that weren't being used, products that had not been produced in years that there's no demand for. So PS of the story is he's downsizing and, you know, could probably use the help. It's very dusty. So I don't know if I'm going to be going there on account of the dust because like I don't want to get myself covered in that or maybe I will stay home. I know that I do have to go to the locker. Usually my, my schedule is that I go to the locker on Mondays and I pick up, you know, all of the leather stripper order stock. And then I do all of that order filling and stuff, but I kind of have to be around for the car. And when they call me to let me know the car is ready because their limousine service or their shuttle service has been booked up for months and months, I still have to wait for Eric to finish at the factory in order to drive me to the dealership to pick up the car and bring everything back. So you guys probably don't care about that, but that's my reality. And just thinking about all the complications. If you guys have been here before, you're going to know that like I overthink absolutely everything. And that's not just a modern convention of people being stressed and people like, 
you know, having a lot of anxiety. I've always been this way, so I don't feel like I'm being anxious. It's just a part of my personality to overthink absolutely everything. And um, the rehearsing and playing out of this, I don't know if you guys are like that, but I'm like this, I'm this way. It's like sometimes it really helps me to sort things out, to talk about it out loud. And um, I can't be the only one that's like this. It just helps me to like put my ideas in order. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah. So for now, um, I don't know even how we got off onto this tangent because really all I wanted to do was show you the fabric. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we got off on like a really rough, uh, whatever. So yeah. Oh yes. That was my thought because I wanted to, um, potentially produce some of these pouches later because the show is, the show is like this upcoming weekend. It's like Saturday coming. So, um, not the Christmas show, but the Halloween one. So if I have like the creepy doll heads could probably sell at that show. So I, I may have to produce those. We'll see. All right. So enough blibber blabber for right now and I will see you again in a little bit. Stay tuned. <music>
I should definitely try and produce at least this fabric because it's kind of Halloween-esque. I think it's going to do really well at the market this upcoming weekend. So I thought what I would do is I would make some of this into scrunchies and the other little bit of it into little makeup pouches um, just because I want to maximize the yield out of that. And if people start asking me for the heat packs, I could always like get more of this fabric, but for heat packs, I actually do not want to go with cotton poplin um, because the other fabric, the petal signature cotton that Spoonflower sells is actually rougher. And I find it's probably like more sturdy. It'll stand up to a lot more abuse from like microwave and the rice being inside and that. So actually now it occurs to me that I'm thinking about it out loud. I don't want to be using this uh, cotton poplin for anything really that isn't um, hair accessories because that's where it needs to be softer so as not to break the hair. And if I want to be doing accessories like wristlets or other kinds of things, unless I have like odd cuts of this and I can be using this scrap, I should really be buying two grades of cotton. One grade for the accessories and another grade for the hair stuff. So Right now I'm going to produce some of these into scrunchies and I'm going to see how I go with this. I may do some makeup pouches with this, but I don't actually know if I want to now. So I have to see. Um, let's see how we go because it kind of feels to me like doing makeup pouches with such a, a softer fabric might not be the best way to go, but because I have to charge more for it too, because this is a more expensive fabric. But I think that, I think I should be working on, on this, at least to make scrunchies out of it. So let's do at least that, get like three sizes out of it, get some, some classic, some dainty and some lush out of this one. And then I can see what I have left over and make a decision going forward. So let's do that now.
right, so I've gotten two Lush scrunchies out of this. They look really, really good. Two, three dainties, um, and I've got seven of the classic, um, which you know I put the uh, I put the one inch label on the classic ones. So hopefully these will go really, really well at market. I really love the way that they look, and yeah. So I think I'm just gonna stop the video here for now. And I'm going to try and take it easy for the rest of the week because there is such thing as producing too much, wanting to bring too much and overthinking too much, which, you know, I, um, I do. <laughs> if you've been here before, you know that. So I am going to go take it easy now, maybe have some lunch and yep, yeah, that'll be it. So I really want to thank every one of you that has stayed here and spent some of your time with me today. And I will see you again in the next one. Ciao for now.